looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now look no further than my sponsor mutt coin bank guys you seriously cannot beat that value i promise use code poodle for five percent off your order what's going on everybody it's poodle back with another madden ultimate team video guys and today i'm gonna be going over the brand new ultimate legends of course it is ultimate legend saturday formerly known as legend saturday which has been replaced in due time because of course we outphase the legends we're in ultimate legends and after that guys it's pretty much it for the year because we're not getting any more saturday content i believe beyond ultimate legends right now, when do they end? I believe probably sometime in April, May, maybe even earlier. Um, they don't go, you know, they don't go all year, of course, because it just, we don't have that many legends and or at least rights to or care enough, I suppose. But nonetheless, guys, we have some ultimate legends to go over today. I'm super excited, of course. Ultimate legends are fun. Now, a lot of people don't seem to care about them a lot. I don't really understand why. They're some of the best cards in the game. Maybe because they do the pre-reveal the night before, so a lot less interest on a Saturday morning, maybe a long Friday night. I don't really know. But definitely excited to go over them. And before we get into today's video, guys, as per usual, if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn on that noti bell, give this video a big thumbs up as always. And if you haven't already, comment down below. Let me know which of the three is your favorite. Of course, I will rank them at the end. Let me know what you guys think and rank them. Comment them down below. Of course, I want to see this off my ranking. So at the end of the day, it's like, you know, you get to compare. You get to compare a little bit. I like to see what other people think. So if we go to sets, oh, if you guys need coins for any of these new URLs, head over to Muck Coin Bank down below. My new sponsor, guys, their coins are crazy cheap. If you use my code at checkout, you'll get an even better discount. But Ultimate Legends players, we have Jonathan Ogden, 98 overall, and John Randall. So that's exciting, guys. As you guys saw last night, they were 98, so that means they will get 99 powered up, which I believe are kind of the first uh, players, you know, to consistently now start dropping a 98. So that's definitely exciting, guys. 98 overall, powered up 99s. We're getting there. We're getting that's it this is the this is the start of the 99 uh 99 reign of terror so from here on out we're probably getting a lot more 98s consistently pretty soon but ogden and uh randall these are two legend staples in the madden community guys randall's been getting cards since as long as madden's been out ogden's been getting cards since as long as madden's been out i'm um, more excited about randall he's a really good card again he's a defensive tackle so people may not care but the best one is going to be probably the outside linebacker uh, Ricky, you gotta go check him out, of course. His card earlier in the year was super, super meta, super great, like Lawrence Taylor esque, if not better. And we did just get another version of him, LTD 98. So, pretty crazy stuff there. Let's go check out the blocks, see if any of them are up. As you guys do know, uh, new cards are notorious for being late uh, coming out, especially this late in the year, because, you know, there's a lot less people opening packs. So that's kind of just one of the things you have to deal with. Now, I do see their lower pieces up, so that's kind of. Oh, that's actually great because they're 98, so I won't have to fight too much to find them. Okay, cool. So let's start Ricky Jackson. I want to see him. Ricky Jackson, 90 overall, left outside linebacker for the New Orleans Saints. 92 speed. Now, rem now because they're LTD, right, they're going to be expensive. We know that. We know they're going to be expensive. We know they're not going to be easy to obtain. But they're going to be, they're fun. They're fun cards. They're good cards. 92 speed, 94 excel, 90 strength, 96 tackle, 95 play rec, 98 block shed, 97 power move, and 94 finesse move. This card is exactly what I wanted with Chubb yesterday when I said I wished he had one more block shed. Ricky Jackson chemmed out. We'll have 99 power move, 99 block shed, 99 finesse move, um, 91 strength, give or take, which doesn't really matter too much in terms of what I want him to do right now. And he will have a 95 speed. 95 speed, 95 excel, 99 block shed, 99 power move. This card is probably the best front seven player in madden 21 right now six foot three 238 91 agility 95 awareness 87 jumping if you put him in a zone he may be able to jump something 70 catching you can kind of play you can kind of play back as well change of direction 82 95 impact blocking he does have a 99 hit power chemmed out and powered up that is absolutely absurd and he gets a 72 zone coverage as well guys this card is a beast at left outside linebacker you cannot go wrong getting ricky jackson now his price probably gonna be a little crazy for a little bit it's a good card he can play zone like low-key like again like if you know like when you're in you know when you're in a crunch right and it's like four it's like fourth and two and you know they're not gonna run the ball you know they're probably gonna do some quick crap on you, and you but you want to run man coverage right that's that's your setup so you try to run man coverage but you know they're gonna do like opposite like you know oppo drags on you where it just completely kills the man real quick and they get that one yard so what you do is you put your ends or outside linebackers you put each one on a, in a hard flat right and they drop back completely destroys the play right so when you do that a lot of outside linebackers can't really play in it too well so you, you might not get the catch but ricky jackson will catch that ball and he may even play decently enough right because at the end of the day you see a body there a defensive tackle can stop it but it's pretty exciting to see ricky jackson is good in the game 
His uh, base legend early in the year was super, super meta. Nice to see another card just as good as that one, you know, for the, for the time. Next, guys, of course, we do have John Randall now. John Randall and them are already at 800k, so that's pretty expensive, but they'll come down now. Randall's super athletic for a defensive tackle, which has always been kind of like the good thing with him. So, powered up in Kettwell. Well, let's start with his base stats, right? 83 speed, 94 excel, 93 strength, 97 tackle, 96 play rec, 96 block shed, 94 power move, and 98 finesse move. Now, John Randall has the potential again to be a 99, 99 kind of guy. So if you, so for him, I would recommend run stuff. If you have a run stuff of chem on your team, that's perfect. With run stuff maxed out, guys, you will have 99 block shed and 99 finesse move powered up and chemed up, as well as he will get 86 speed at defensive tackle, which is really, really good, and 95 excel. He's a super great defensive tackle, guys. He can stop the run. He can pass rush. He's 290 pounds, six foot one, 82 agility, super solid as well. As well as 83 jumping, not bad. Change of direction, 74. 94 impact blocking. Um, hit power, 95. Of course, that's great. Pursuit's going to be a 99. It's a great card. John Randall's a great card for sure. Now, people don't really like defensive tackles this year. Again, maybe they prefer to have Lawrence Taylor defensive tackle. I mean, I get it. The issue with Mutt is this, right? Why, in real life, why do you have defensive tackles and ends? Ends rush the passer. Ends are more focused on that. The interior guys are big guys that just stop the run. You know, stop short yardage stuff right or um you know whatever just full gaps now in madden when the year first starts defensive tackles have higher block shed right outside linebackers maybe don't so again you still use them by the time we're at you know past december past november and we can get everyone up past the thresholds you know if lawrence taylor can get a plow above 90 block shed with above 90 finesse move with above 90 speed but john randall can only get you know 80 speed with slightly above 90 on each and they're both going to play the same, right? It's like, why not go with just Lawrence Taylor in the middle and then put Ricky Jackson on the outside? And that is why Madden, I think, needs to penalize out-of-position players. I think that's, I think an important... Me, personally, guys, I think an important step in developing Mutt will be stopping out-of-position players because the fact that everyone could do safety, it makes, like, the casuals that come on the game, not just the casuals, like, people who just love football, right? Love the idea of football, middle linebackers, you know, strategizing. You know, those guys come out there and just get absolutely destroyed by a guy with seven safeties on defense, right? So... And, and, you know, seven safeties at defense. Your whole defense is like seven safeties, four outside linebackers, or four ends. So I wish we can go away from that. I want to do, I want to more like FIFA, like out of position, chemistry, all that stuff. I think it would be a go a long way in actually helping the, the mode, but it is what it is. Let's move on, guys. Jonathan Ogden is the final player, and of course, he's not up. I wonder what guy decided I need Ogden right now, and I bought him for, you know, 800k, 2 million coins, or they're reposting them, so we'll give him just a second there. But more or less, guys, you know how Ogden's going to look like. And then, then overall, got to have maxed out pass and run blocking. But we'll see right here. 891K. Yep. Powered up and counted up. Jonathan Ogden will have 99 strength, 99 awareness, 99 pass block power, 98 pass block power. Oh, sorry, 98 pass block. 98 pass block power, 98 pass block finesse, 98 run block, 97 run block power, 96 run block finesse. Put zone run on him, guys. He'll be all 99 run blocking as well as all 99 everything else besides 98 and 98 pass block power and finesse. He'll have 99 strength. It'll be 6'9", 340. 99 awareness. This card's insane. Um, 97 impact blocking, maybe even higher depending. Good lead blocking. And as far as speed and everything goes, let's see. 63 speed, a little bit on the lower side. Would have liked to have seen a 70, but again, a 6'9". I mean, I don't know how much faster we'd expect him to move. Jonathan Ogden's a great card, as per usual. Kind of what we expected with him. Always, always a great card. Jonathan Ogden's been a right tackle staple of Mutt. I'm telling you, this is like the John Randall and Ogden are just like Mutt staples. It's simple as that. And not to mention, uh, you know, Ricky Jackson a bit on the newer side in terms of how, how often we've actually gotten him. But he's, he's great. That's about it, guys. Pretty much it for the video. I covered the Ultimate Legends. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn the notification bell, boys. Comment down below what you guys think of these legends. Who's your favorite one? And if you guys need coins, head over to Muck Coin Bank and use code Poodle for 5% off your order. Make sure to take advantage, guys. Super cheap coins. That's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. If I had to choose, by the way, my rankings. Coming in last, John Randall, number two. Jonathan Ogden, number one, Ricky Jackson. That's it, guys. I'm out. Peace.